organized by our official peer educators it is worth while to mention here that our peer educators were trained in the month of december on four days starting from the 6th of december to 11th of december our own house counselor mr seema singh seema singh has been a constant source and source all 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 who are young peer educators kudos to our effort and continuously organized by our official peer educators it is worth while to mention here that our peer educators were trained in the month of december on four days starting from the 6th of december to 11th of december ma'am our own house counselor mrs seema singh seema singh has been constant source and source all 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 to our young peer educators kudos to our effort and continuously we are indeed indebted to cbsc and honorable dr dk sinha principal ma'am for giving us this platform to imbibe leadership okay. skills in all of us okay. in seema ma'am along with our four edu- peer educators from class 11th and one from class 9 had joined this workshop which was which was for four days starting from the 6th of december to the 11th of december our official peer educators are shristi from class 11th a aniket from class 11th c saswat from class 11th c and last but not the least snigdha from class 9th c before we begin today's session i would like to invite our reverend principal sir to kindly address us because he was and it was basically his initiative to start this particular session in our school please welcome sir principal sir you can address the children so please uh, encourage our peer educator uh to present their session today please say few words for them i think sir is not uh, there sir is muted muted i think okay let's begin the session yes uh dear listeners dear students please motivate our young peer educators who have been trained by cbsc to present their presentation before you and what all they have gained during this four day session please welcome them the set is all yours srishti you can begin ma'am just a minute Shristi, you can start. Kindly accept the request from the name Rashmi. Okay, sure. Ma'am. And you can start. Log the meeting. Yes, ma'am. Anikita a very good afternoon to one and all present here my name is srishti and it gives me an immense pleasure to start this auspicious webinar today we have gathered here for the healthy discussion on the importance of 21st century skills let me tell you that there was four days webinar conducted by cbsc last month three students from 11th namely srishti shashwat and aniket and one from 9th namely snigdha was appointed as the peer educator today we the peer educators will be sharing our thoughts and learnings hope you all find it worthy let me start from the beautiful quote which says life is a vector quantity 
direction is more important than magnitude and these 21st century skills are the 12 abilities that today students need to succeed in this one later in the session i would like to introduce you all to the category one that is life skills aka flips now flip stands for the flexibility leadership initiative productivity and social skills i know that you all must be aware about these but unfortunately these skills comes to the handful of people as a result students need to learn it to fully succeed after all etiquette manners politeness and small talk still plays a major role in this today's world now i would like shashwat to brief about the second category over to you shashwat literacy skills of 21st century the word literacy describes the ability to read and write literacy skills includes awareness of the sounds of language awareness of print and the relationship between letters and sounds other literacy skills include vocabulary spelling and comprehension literacy skills are basically of three types information literacy information literacy is ability to find evaluate organize use and communicate information in all various formats most notably in situations requiring decision making problem solving etc media literacy media literacy consists of practices that allow people to access critically evaluate and create or manipulate media media literacy is no restricted to one medium and is understood at the set of competencies that are essential for work and citizenship technology literacy technology literacy is the ability to use manage understand and access technology technological literacy is related to digital literacy in that when an individual is proficient in using computers and other digital devices to access the internet last but not the least literacy is the end literacy is not the end of education nor even the beginning now i would like to hand the session to another peer educator aniket aniket over to you thank you sashwat now we will learn about learning skills these are also known as the four c's these are critical thinking creativity collaboration and communication critical thinking it is making reasoned judgments that are logical and well thought out it is just a way of thinking in which we don't accept all the arguments and conclusions that we are exposed to rather we have an attitude of questioning them once one student masters it it quickly spreads to its peers creativity creativity is simply the practice of thinking outside the box creativity is often treated as you have it or you don't but that's not true students can learn how to be creative by solving problems or just trying something they haven't tried before communication communication is the practice of conveying ideas and your thoughts quickly and que clearly to others it involves speaking listening observing and empathizing communication is the easiest skill to practice but the hardest one to master collaboration collaboration is the practice of working together to achieve a common goal in this a large number of people when working together they require collaboration skills so that they can uh, cooperate with each other to achieve their respective to achieve their common goal it refers to the ability to express one's opinion desires etc to each other slide next slide so what are the demands of these skills why are we learning them why why we should apply them in our life during the latter decades of the 20th century and into the 21st century society has undergone an accelerating pace of change in economy and technology its effects on the workplace and thus on the demands of the workforce of the educational systems preparing students for the workforce have been significant in several ways so the more we give importance to these skills skill development program the more competent will be our youth it is rightly said by our honorable prime minister narendra modi so thank you for your valuable time i hope this session was informative for you and i hope that you would apply these skills in your life and make yourself you productive thank you thank you very much aniket now i would request the principal sir to kindly express his views okay sir thank you
Uh, it's a uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good it's afternoon. very nice to see you all together in uh, virtual mode. And uh, the way the children explain, I, I hope in future also they will learn these all, uh, you know, uh, the skill of uh, a kind of uh, peer training. It's a, it's a good initiative. I must congratulate uh, Sima Singh and the CBSE for giving opportunity to our counselor, our uh, educator, a special educator. And uh, I will also request uh, Sima ma'am uh, to just work on it and uh, share some more information uh, with all these uh, students. And uh, I, I am sure in coming days when the children start coming physically because most of them now vaccinated today also we have you know, we have organized the vaccination camp and the most of the children uh, you know will get vaccinated. So with these words I congratulate uh, both the speaker Srishti and Amitya. And uh, while uh, what I observed today that uh, children uh, don't try to share your, uh, this link to anybody else. I, I, I don't think that uh, the children are entering in, the, in this meeting without your consent and without sharing uh, this link to your friend. Whosoever, but this is not good. It's, uh, it's just uh, you just uh, messing your reputation of your school in that way. So please don't try to share whatever because th this, this is on record and we have to share with the CBSC also. So today the way the children enter and uh, you know doing all kind of obnoxious thing, it, it will not be uh, acceptable in any way. So uh, once again, congratulations to both the Srishti and Aniket and Sima ma'am and overall uh, Padmaja ma'am, the way he, she coordinated, it's very good. And uh, uh, please give, uh, give them a huge round of applause for all these uh, coordination and all kind of things. Uh, and in the coming days, uh, you will, once you start coming physically, uh, we will have some more session and uh, more informative things. With all these, uh, good wishes, good luck to you all of you. Thank you. Have a thank, nice thank day. You, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Now, let me invite you, Sima Ma to give the vote of thanks. OK. Uh, good afternoon, all. First of all, I would like to thank our all four very talented peer educators. Uh, because uh, they have done a wonderful job today. They have uh, done a lot of exercise before this uh, workshop. And also I would like to thank Padmaja ma'am for giving her continuous support for this workshop, Peer Educator Leadership Program in Life Skills, Holistic Health and Wellbeing. And especially Principal Sir, I would like to thank him because he has nominated our names for this workshop very useful workshop. So, so the, actually this workshop is initiated by CBSC with the school teachers, with the peer educators, social workers, school counselor and all. And many schools from the country have been participated. Yes, ma'am, many schools. Yes, yes. I yes. think from south, many from schools. north, from east, from west, from all part of our country. And uh, as schools. you know, you can see our four peer educator and very soon they all will start working on the ground level sir because actually we wanted to do this workshop as live but due to this pandemic we have decided to go on virtual platform so we all have decided that at least one workshop we will do every month and on a various topic okay so as we all know, yes, the adolescent yes. is the most beautiful, eight most risky, sensitive stage that is full of storm and stress. I think you all are agree with me. So there are a lot of issues, problems of our adolescents. They have to deal with them. 
It is, so this is not only for our four peer educator. I am saying all this about for all of you, all of you students from nine to twelve. You all are adolescent. Okay, so you have lot of problems in your life. So you can take help with our these four talented peer educator. And in future, we will uh, do lot of workshop like. one is on health issue yes ma'am we can do on this yes, it refers to yes, physical emotional social mental health like sometimes distress anger sadness loneliness so many issues are there with our adolescent and the next will be life skills uses of life skills how to behave positively in everyday life how can we benefit from this skills these all are very important for you children okay next will be uh, we will do on how to grow up healthy in this we will discuss about the importance of nutrition health and hygiene and uh, some more issues are like family bonding and caring communication in this the role of family will come how to connect uh, with your family members and strengthen your friend family relationship and all and on next we will do healthy expression of your emotions like anger loss grief etc so when emotions are there so how to deal with this whenever you are confronted yes. with the problems your approach to dealing with it okay and next will be peer pressure that is very sensitive issues nowadays this peer pressure can be positive also can be negative also so we will discuss on this issues also and empowering self for the digital world and i hope this issues is very important in this current scenario okay to educate and create awareness among our students community on use of technology internet media and possible prevention of avoid getting victimized like there are very many cyber crimes online gaming child pornography scam etc no, no, no. there are a lot of issues and last but not the least will be our career choice how to choose a better career talk about your their career ideas and future plans okay so there are lot of issues lot of topics we will discuss in next workshop so that's all outline plans for our peer educator leadership program let's us begin the journey of empowering our peer leaders so thank you very much all of you very nicely said sima ma'am thank you so much it it, it, it just have been possible only because of you and uh, principal sir support yes we definitely thanks cbse for this great initiative in starting this peer educator a friend can only educate another friend it's a nice yes. initiative we must thank and support cbsc yes thank and you everyone any thank student you. have any kind of problem before come we are always there we me padmaza ma'am also principal sir ma'am all are there to help you but first preference you will go to your peer friend peer educator these four are very talented peers so they have got training from the cbsc so you can go and in take initiative unse baat kijiye aap apne problems leke jaiye they will sort your problem is it ma'am definitely yes definitely and this few four peer educators will definitely set a benchmark for all of us to follow thank you srishti aniket snegdha and saswat thank you very thank much thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you everyone Okay. Thank you, thank everyone. Thank you for this lovely presentation. Yes. We want to see more from you. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice day, all of you. Bye. Have a nice day, ma'am. Thank, thank you, you sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sima, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.